the heck? Uh, is it a city wall? It is counting it as a city battle. Okay. Um, let's just see each other. Alright, Ark and the Black is going to head over here. Hold on. If you go into channeling, I think he can reach there next turn and he'll have more mana. Alright, King Bone Lord. Let's see if you do any better. He's got the, the big guy in his army. Alright, so he can stomp that one. Uh, Bellatro is nuts. How is it nuts? How is it nuts? Sell me on it. What What is nuts about it? My will be done. Okay, we got that now. For the creator God. And can get another Tomb Prince. And this guy can move on the next turn. Actually, wait. He's going to be a 19 out of 20. Why? Oh, that guy. Okay, he'll be full after that. Now, we don't know where this guy's armies are. They could be there or up here or in some weird, obscure location. So they come could come flying onto the screen and hit me. Uh... Okay, well, here's one of them. Alright, this should be fun, chat. We're gonna get a chance to see the Sphinx of Usek in action. Now, it says it has bonuses. It's anti-large. And what do they have that's large? Uh, the Sepulchral Stalkers and the Scorpion. So that'll be what it's trying to target. Now, the Sepulchral Stalkers are also anti-large. So they counter each other. So we're gonna have to... Try to take them out before they take me out. There's not something hugely aesthetic about it. It's just a solid gameplay loop of figuring out ways to abuse multipliers and adders with a poker facade. Oh. Also, the horse and the Ustabi. Does the horse... Wait, does the horse count as large? Does the skeletal horse count? Uh, okay. Well, uh, it'll be tough to catch the horsemen if they're running around, but maybe. Okay, so the really low health units are... They were part of the garrison. So they're they're kind of whatever. Oh, let's inspect our new our new boy chat. This is our new unit. Uh, here's a uh, skeletons for comparison. <laughs> oh boy. All right. That is the necro sphinx. All right, dog's back there for now. I am reborn. Mm, all right, he's got a cart. He's got that. Is this the one that had regen? No, this guy did not have the region armor. Two of my lords had region armor. This is not one of them. Uh, I also don't have any siege with this army. Watch out for that. They have catapults. I have to watch out for. Slow it down. Okay. 
trying to get the dogs to flank the uh, catapults. Having a hell of a time of it right now, though. Working on taking down their big units and my anti large units. Obey. Move. I've almost got their catapults. Try to hit their skeleton archers. Animus. Chew their bones. Okay, we've got the free Ushtabi. Gonna drop those right there. The Necro Sphinx has almost taken down their king who's riding on a War Sphinx. Uh, you guys back up. You are really low on health. Necro Sphinx, go for their Scorpion. Uh, they're not crumbling, are they? They are crumbling. No! Uh, I don't know if I can save them. There's not a... I don't have one of the guys that can heal Constructs in this army. Well, that sucks. This is a Regiment of Renown. It will become available again later, but it'll take 10 turns for that to happen. Definitely had some losses in this. But it is looking like we're going to win. Alright, got their Scorpion. Are those Ushtabi? Yeah, they are. Alright, go for them. Come on, dude. You weigh like a million pounds. Push your way through. This faction is the best faction for the army lords to rush the red line. The yeah, I saw. It's like a it's like a heel for everyone around him. It took me a while to see that, but I did recently see that. Oh, I think their whole army is crumbling. There we go. Okay. I know we lost a lot. Let's see. I think all the archers and the regiment of renowned snakes, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it says the my necro sphinx only got one kill, but it did twelve thousand damage because it was beating on another sphinx. But the other sphinx was anti-infantry, and mine was anti-large, so it won the sphinx versus sphinx battle. Yeah, I'm used to, with most factions, either rushing the spell line or rushing for, um, 
Uh, buh, 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 buh. The blue, the blue line. Um, and then I realized after a few turns in, I was like, wait, the final thing for blue is usually minus upkeep, and this faction doesn't have upkeep. I don't have to care about that. Um, gold or jars? Let's say gold this time. Sword of Cain claimed, enemy killed in battle. Wait, what? Oh, that was enemy killed. I was like, wait, I, I thought it was my guy who died for a second. Uh, King Bone Lord has a War Sphinx now. Construction complete, Dynasty Research, plus some Tomb Princes. Okay. Alright, King Bone Lord. Um. I think what we do is. Uh, actually, that's a full army, isn't it? Okay. Now, well, back, back, go back, go back. Just hold the line here. Replace the archers we lost. And can't replace the snake eyes yet. Nine turns till we can use them again. I could get Regiment of Renown. Ushtabi Great Bows. Don't really need them for this army. Arise, my legions. Rise. Let's take another archer for now. Okay. Um, let's see. So we got third dynasty. Oh wait, can I get a Necrotect in this army. Oh no, that's a that's another thing. Let's see, recruit rank plus one for melee attack. Skeletal seed. Strong, wise. No big draw. I think I'm gonna be using this guy like an assassin. So we'll just take wise because he generates jars. Yes, grovel and big. All right, this guy, let's do that. And that. My and just have him get archers. What? We don't have anything long range. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go, casket of souls. That will solve that problem for this army. Okay, now it has artillery. Take him out. Alright, that town is destroyed. Alright. Now I'm wondering if this guy would like to do peace. Nope, he does not. I was wondering if I could just convince him to give up. But he's like, no, man, I still got a chance. I got you on the ropes. I'm like, you really don't. You really do not. Okay, this guy... Uh, master Builder. Hello, Neov. All right, uh, King Thutip. He has plus one war sphinxes. I can't, but you have to be able to build them, and I can't build them currently. Province cost plus control. Yeah, this is plus control map wide. That's five thousand gold, but I think it's worth it. So I'll do the proclamation. All right. Um, there's uh, okay. That army just has one dude. So that's whatever. Crushing defeat. Really? It still says crushing defeat? <sighs> uh, may have to manual this one. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, but. Alright. So this is a. We've already spent one turd sie. Turd? Turd. We spent a turd. We've spent one turn sieging these guys. Um, I think I can use the Ushtabi Great Bows just to punch a hole through their wall and then just rush in with, like, the scorpions. Heard your sound from another room, so I came in to say hi. It's because six tomb guards? Yeah, they do have some. Yeah, the one of my favorite things about the Ushtabi Great Bows is that they can shoot walls and towers down because they're so big. Needs more Sphinx and less Necro. Need more Sphinxes. 
Uh, that's a tier 5 unit. I can work on that. It's going to take a little bit, though. Uh, oh, I know this layout. These two gates right here don't have, like, any protection. Okay, see you. Oh, I've got a battering ram. Hmm. Should I use it or just punch a hole through the wall like I originally said? Another thing I've learned from YouTube, Chunt. Watch this. I could drop that battering ram. And... I'm not going to be able to do it because they're mounted. If I had a hero that was not mounted, the hero can push the battering ram. And it's like not in any danger at all while it's approaching the wall. That's the trick I'm, I'm telling you. You can have like a, a hero with a that's heavily armored with a shield push it and it's in like no danger at all. Whereas usually whoever's pushing the battering ram is in like a lot of danger. Have you done the right for unique necro techs yet? The one that like builds a city automatically at like level three or something? No, I have never done that. I have not tried that one out. I think I'm gonna have these shoot that as soon as it starts. It's strong if you can afford it. Often I just usually capture the city as opposed to raising it and then doing that. I mean, I guess if it, I guess if the raise cost covered the cost of that, right? But yeah, usually I don't do that. Uh, let's see. What are these two? Oh, these are just like normal archers. Okay. And then, da da. This guy. This guy. Alright, so all of you move, move forward. And you hit that. You guys destroy that tower. And scorpions, you guys go. All right, they have no guards over here. Wolves, go hit that gate, see what you can do. You guys go over there. So see, I think this is so cool. Look how much damage they just did with one volley of arrows. These things are like telephone poles. So these gigantic Ushtabi archers are destroying concrete buildings with their arrows. So I really like them for that. Now, if there's a con to them, I would say it... What is that? That's some spell. I don't... Oh, is that Flock of Doom? It just looks weird. Uh, anyway, if there is a downside to it, it is that it, uh... You can't heal them because they're constructs. You can't heal them with the same spells you can heal your undead, which make them a little harder to keep alive sometimes. That's called Scarab Swarm. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the battering ram look like for these guys? It's like a snake skeleton with a big spike on the front. Okay, the two archer towers that could potentially be any danger to me are destroyed. Eh, the dogs can destroy this gate, but it's gonna take them a while. So they've got catapults back there. Oh, there we go. It's done its work. All right. Wait, what? Is it still attacking? Oh, for some reason I was thinking it killed the gate in one hit, but no, it takes a uh, it takes a few seconds, I guess. 
All right, there we go. Now it's dead. See, see how they're trying to climb the wall? It's... Once again... There we go. They, they're, they keep trying to climb the wall, which makes it take like an, an extra hour to get through the gate. The pathfinding. I really only have issues with the pathfinding during like these moments when I'm trying to get people through a gate. That's, like, the only time. And it's only when it's a unit that can climb walls. If the unit is incapable of climbing walls, I don't have the issue. But if they can climb walls, they sometimes try to hop the wall or to, to do to, you know, go around, and it's, like, awful. It's like, these Ushtabi cannot climb walls. If I do this, they're like, yeah, okay, go through the gate, got it. Easy. climb up here. They might get hit by the catapults, but they should do some work up there. I don't know if that's going to work or if they're going to... Yeah, it's going to work. Okay. And we d again, we don't have something that repairs constructs for this one. So all we have is, uh, so if the scorpions take damage for this battle, it's permanent damage. Speed it up a bit. Oh wait, no, I'm, that is incorrect. I do have something that can repair them. All right. I'll actually use it on the uh, Shabby Great Bows though. I was uh, mistaking this for that other army I had. Whoa, okay, the dogs finally got in and they started getting riddled with arrows, but luckily the dogs can take out skeleton archers, no problem. And then they can go capture that. All right. So getting one of their supply depots. Did you actually? Did you really uh, realize enemy summoned a unit outside walls attacking your archers? I don't have any archers outside the walls. No. If that happened, no, I did not realize it. Oh, there we go. They, uh, they, the morale broke. They crumbled. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not sure if it was worth sending the dogs around. They definitely did, you know, lower the enemy's morale because they started capturing points inside the city. But it took them a long time to beat down that gate. I'm not sure how long it takes like hex wraiths to do that. They might have they might have uh, been better for that. But again, do like the 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 knowledge that Ushtabi can just shoot down buildings. 
that was quite a revelation when I found that out. And, like, there, there's some siege that can hit buildings if they use, like, all their ammo doing it. They do it pretty handily. My new city. I'm not sacking it before capping it, because I don't want it to de-level. Look at, look at all these buildings. Oh my god, they have some good stuff here. They have some good stuff. Alright, uh, incantation guy. That's Necrotect, which we did have. I was wrong. Get the Guardian Gargantua. Okay, so here we can recruit a few noise stuff. Uh, they can do scorpions, Ushtabi, the snake guys are at the city. There is some noise stuff. Uh, I don't think, th this army's pretty solid. I don't think this army needs any of that, but we now have the ability to get it. Okay, um, where's King? Okay, so this guy, this guy needs that stuff. All right, so that was here. I have arrived. Actually, hold on, stop. Go channeling stance and then move as much as you can. The king moves. Okay. And then we got this dude. He was going to join that army. Yes, yeah, so this army needs some some big units. Right now, it's it's got a ton of those wonderful free units that keep the enemy busy and some dogs, but it needs. Some big mamma jamma to run around and, uh, you know, break heads while we're buying time. The mamma jamma. Uh, okay. Yeah, enter. My two blade. Kairos Fate Weaver. Oh no. Oh god. Being enemies with Kairos sucks. Because he will do, like, he'll cast Winds of Change and just be like, oh, that settlement of yours is now mine. And. You can go cap it back, but you can't stop it. Or he'll be like, oh, your enemy's taking attrition damage for 10 turns. And it's just like, well, muck me then. Um, okay. Well, if I auto this, it says I lose. So I have to do it manually. Um, this, uh, this army needs a Necrotect. All right, well... Nothing here too crazy. He has a lot of tier two units, which is why it's giving him the auto win. Um, but there's n he has nothing that does really good against the Sphinx, the the huge Sphinx I've got. So the question is, before he whittles me down because I'm not able to heal it, uh, can we tear down his army? Let's find out. Fight battle. This is uh these the these Ushtabi. And the uh, Necro Knights here are all anti-infantry large units. Which, the Necrotect is not infantry, and it's anti-large. So it hard counters them, as long as it can survive just the number of things that is going to be, he's going to have. Alright, drop that there. And these are the weakened troops from the garrison. We'll just sprinkle those in there. Drop him in. Uh, oh, oh, wait. This is the army that lost all its archers, and it was recruiting them. So it hasn't finished recruiting them. So those are still dead. So that's a thing. Okay. We do have the siege thing, but we don't have any archers. Alright, I'm going to change the line a little bit here with the knowledge that I don't have archers. Oh, our lord is on a sphinx now, too. I have two sphinxes. The Lord's one's anti-infantry. The other one's anti-anti-melee. Uh, 